Good morning, family. So glad you could join us today for our daily devos. We're going to sing together about the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus never fails. If you're needing healing in your body, the blood of Jesus never fails. It's strong enough. It is strong enough. It's your blood that cleanses. It's your blood that took my place with redeeming sacrifice. It washes me whiter than the snow. Welcome to this morning's Devo. I'm so glad that you joined us. Hey, we are jumping into John 3. So I'm going to read this, and it's something that we've probably all heard before, and honestly, we probably just, we've known it forever, maybe. Maybe you don't know it, but a lot of us probably know it. Um, It's the whole basis of our salvation. It's John 3, 16, and it says, For here is the way God loved the world. He gave His only unique Son as a gift. So now everyone who believes in Him will never perish, but experience everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to judge and to condemn the world, but to be its savior and rescue it. So I don't know about you, but I know me as a mom, I don't think there's anything in this world that I would want to give my kid for, especially people that don't like me or people that are are not even living right, right? But God in his greatness gave his son knowing that this world humanity was broken that that needed help and he sent his son the one that he loved so much to save us and this is really just the story of our salvation I think so many times it's easy to say like oh yes I'm saved and kind of skip over the salvation and what happened in that moment and when you really take the moment to think about 
what God did for us by sending Jesus, and not only sending Jesus, but Jesus living His life um, free from sin for us, with people mocking Him, hating Him, throwing Him under, under the bus, talking bad about Him, beating Him, like putting lashes on His back, and He did that for us. And And really, when you look at it, it's like, us were the ones in the story that did that to him, yet he still loved us so much. And I don't know really what you're dealing with today. I think a lot of us are dealing with a lot of different things, whether it be relational, you know, in our marriages and our families, with our kids, um, with friendships and our finances. There's so many things I think that people are dealing with. There's there's so much anxiety and depression and things that are, are funneled into our culture these days and, and funneled in to be like, okay, that we're so consumed with all this negativity that we forget that God made a way for us. He made a way for you that you don't have to live that way. You don't have to live bound. You don't have to live confused. You don't have to live hurting. God sent his son Jesus for you and Jesus took stripes on his back so you can be saved, so you can live an everlasting life for eternity with him. And it's such a great thing. And when we take that and we think about that, it's like, thank you, God. Thank you so much for what you've done for me that I don't have to die and live eternity in hell. I can live with you forever and be happy. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to enjoy your life. And so my encouragement to you is to know that God loves you so much that he sent his son. That's the whole basis of our our faith. And if you believe that God sent his son, Jesus, and that Jesus died for you and Jesus was God's son and that he loves you so much that you believe that, then you can be saved and you can live an amazing life here on earth despite everything because he's already overcome all of it through his death. He's already overcome all of it. So today, I don't know what you're going through, but I would just encourage you, take a moment to say, wow, God, like you sent your son. He was beaten for me. He was beaten for you and took lashes on his back, got spit in the face, and all he did was loved you. It's such a huge deal. And I hope you realize that today. And God, we just thank you today for that. It's such an amazing, astonishing, no words can describe that what you did for us. So go out your today, go out today knowing that God is backing you. Jesus is backing you. You are empowered to do great things today. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for what you did on the cross for us. God, for taking stripes on your back so that we can be healed and lived live a good life, for shedding your blood for our salvation. God, that we can live with you eternally and have a great life here on earth. God, thank you for what you've done. God, that we go forth, not condemning, not judging people, but God, just sharing the good news of what you've done for us and who you are. God, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much today for being with us and we will see you guys next time.